The best way you can support me is with a simple subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. All right, LeBron James at it again, being petty online. We know LeBron James has a petty side to him. Let's never, let's not act like he ain't got a petty side to him. I don't want people to take up for LeBron too hard in my comment section and act like he don't do his bit of pettiness. Kyrie Irving posted this picture online. Call it for what it's worth. He's promoting some underwear. And you see waves in the background. You see waves. LeBron, uh, Kyrie's on some sort of a beach or island or somewhere nice that Telefero can't afford. Um, pretty much is where he's at. And y'all know LeBron, who's been king petty this whole offseason. Y'all know LeBron had to chime in right after that picture was posted. LeBron posted this tweet. Never let another ride wave. Oh, no. Pop the bins and I ride the bins. That's that, that's that Portland record, right? With Drake, Travis Scott, and Quavo on more life. It's a good record, by the way. Y'all know LeBron is the king of petty. We can't have it both sides. We give credit to LeBron James for being one of the smartest basketball players of all time. If we're going to give him that type of credit, you got to be able to understand that he knows what he's doing at all times, right? If he's one of the smartest men we've ever seen when it comes to that basketball court and, and business, y'all know LeBron has the opportunity to think through every tweet. He obviously know he has millions of followers and anything he says, people are going to run with it. So sometimes on social media, when LeBron's singing a Meek Mill record or whatever it is on, on social media, I think he's really just singing a record. I think he's just really having a good time enjoying music. But you know, LeBron knows that the media is going to take everything he says with this summer, with what's going on with Kyrie, as a shot at Kyrie. He could be probably just enjoying music. LeBron, you have over what? Between the social media platforms, over 100 million followers with all of them? Come on now. You have to know they're running with anything. You say you're the biggest athlete ever. And I just think LeBron has been increasingly using his platforms on social media a lot more this summer. I'm not mad at it, but I do like the mystique of, of LeBron James in the past. And that's kind of went away. He's been on vacay, posting a lot. He's been listening to a lot of music. Artists now send LeBron James their music early. A lot of rappers have done that. The Kendricks, the Drakes, the Meeks of the world. And LeBron has now become like a promo tool for artists. Like, if you can get promoted by LeBron, that's like, that's probably going to help your album sales out a lot. So, LeBron is honestly just, if this is what he wants to do. He's, he's, he's very in tune with the culture. Very in tune with the culture. Again, just imagine being LeBron, right? We get on our social medias and post pictures and, and videos from when we're working out. Nobody scrutinizes it. But because LeBron is such a big athlete, everybody scrutinizes him for anything he does and probably doesn't even have an ulterior motive in it even though this time i do think it was a diss at Kyrie specifically that was too coincidental you had a million songs you could listen to that drake record that portland record been that that thing was out in what last what march uh april that come on now that's a shot that's a shot at Kyrie. it's petty and childish and i don't like it from a guy who's 6'8 250 pounds i don't like it too as strong as he is i don't like that that bit of child and it's too petty too petty for me. LeBron just, I mean, he just can't be a normal guy when it comes to social media. Um, I think it's also pretty ironic. LeBron's in a, a very weird spot because you got guys like Melo who don't really be on social media like that. The only thing we see from Melo is a guy, this infamous uh, guy that we don't know who it is, this this mysterious guy who records Melo's while he's in that hoodie working out. Other than that, we don't see a lot of Melo on social media, but then you see a guy like Dwayne Wade who loves his social media. Dwayne Wade doesn't put his phone down. Until he's working out. Hell, if Dwayne Wade could, he, I feel like he'd attach his phone to him while he works out. He loves Snapchat that much. You should follow Dwayne Wade on Snapchat, Way of Wade. It's a good follow. It's a really good follow if you want to see everything not to do in your offseason if you're trying to get to a, be a great basketball player. He's doing everything with playing basketball. Um, You got guys like Chris Paul. I think Chris Paul be on social media that much. So you got some guys that do it, some guys that don't. I just expect the best basketball player in the world to not do it. The Kobe's, they wouldn't dare do it. The Michaels, they wouldn't dare do it. And I, and it, it, it sucks. It sucks because everything LeBron does is scrutinized. And I actually think this was one of the ones where he dissed them. But they're taking everything LeBron says. So you got to kind of pick and choose what's a diss or what's just the media being the media. This one, I think it might have been a diss at Kyrie. It was too coincidental. Soon as Kyrie posted the picture with the waves, he now talking about riding your wave. Too coincidental. Too coincidental. Remember the LeBron James and Kyrie Irving saga is going on. Kyrie doesn't want to play with LeBron anymore. Kyrie want to go elsewhere, play with another team. LeBron like, I'll let you ride this way. Don't ever forget that. You on my ship. 
You you've been a part of three straight NBA finals. That doesn't happen if I'm not in town. And Kyrie's like, that's the point. I don't want to be a part of your own ship. I want my ship of his own. So a little bit of a pettiness is going on. What do you think about all this? Talk to me in the comment box below. Subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content like this. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.